What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be covering two press releases that Next Tech put out that I feel are very important to know about, especially if you're invested in the company. So the first press release that I'm going to be covering is the recent agreement between Next Tech and TEDx to have them host the first ever TEDx virtual conference. Now, this is obviously big news because TEDx is one of the biggest conferencing events there is. So you're definitely going to want to hear about that. And then the second thing I'm going to be talking about is actually some preliminary Q3 results that Next Tech put out themselves. And they are growing revenues just to give you a little preview at over 300% year over year. So definitely be sure to stick around to the end of the video because you're not going to want to miss that. And real quick, before we dive into the video, be sure to hit that like button if you guys like videos like this because that lets me know that you guys want more content, especially about Next Tech, because we did get some really good feedback on the last video. So be sure to hit that like button if you want more videos like this. And with that being said, let's get right into today's video. So if you guys have watched any of my other videos on Next Tech, you'll know that their Inferno AR platform is actually one of the biggest verticals of the business right now. And I personally believe that it'll be a big driver behind the high revenue growth that we're seeing right now. And so on October 7th, it was announced that TEDx Malmo has chosen the Inferno AR platform for their first interactive virtual event. This event will be reflective of the traditional in-person event that the TED brand is known for and will include TED Talks, interactive content, and Q&As with the speakers, plus much more. Now, it's important to hear what TEDx has to say about this platform because at the end of the day, they are a huge potential long-term customer, and this is the first impression that everyone always says needs to be good. So in this press release, they state that to deliver an exemplary digital event, we need the best of the best, which is why they reached out to Next Tech. We need cutting edge technology, a fully customizable platform, and a team filled with top talents to make this digital event happen. And we are certain Next Tech meets all of those requirements. So obviously they believe strongly in the product Next Tech provides and feel that it's the best way to provide attendees with the experience that they deserve and have come to know and love. Now, CEO Evan Gabelberg even went on to say that they are thrilled to be working on this event and that they're seeing tremendous momentum across all of their businesses and that market leaders like TEDx are choosing their platforms over the competitors because they provide a better solution, which is key for Next Tech. Now, one last thing Evan brought up that I wanna talk about is that turning keynote speakers into holograms could become the new normal a lot sooner than most of us expected because the global issue has really accelerated the digital transformation from almost all businesses. And in my first Next Tech video, that I did, I actually talked about this because I really believe that the reason they're seeing this high explosive revenue growth is because they've entered the market at a really good time, especially in this new augmented reality space, because what we're seeing now is that there are less and less face-to-face -face meetings and many concerts and conferences, if not all, have been canceled due to the global issue. But by using the Inferno AR platform, Next Tech is providing these businesses and artists a new way to reach those same customers using augmented reality solutions. Now, I believe specifically that this TEDx event agreement has the potential to bring in so much more brand recognition for Next Tech's Inferno AR, especially because a lot of business professionals actually attend these events themselves. Not to mention the fact that TEDx actually has more than 3,000 events annually, so if they can provide a really good solution to the issue they're having right now, I think this is something that we'll see continue to happen for the years to come. All right, so there's a lot to cover here in this press release, and I think the number everyone has been waiting for is this insane 331% revenue growth year over year. So as we can see, in Q3 of 2019, they did roughly $1.5 million in revenue, 
and they have absolutely destroyed that, bringing in $6.7 million in total bookings for Q3 of this year alone. Now, what's even crazier than that growth is the fact that they made more revenue in this most recent quarter than they did in all four quarters of 2019. Now, I don't think I've personally found a public company out there that's showing that kind of revenue growth, but if you have, let me know down in the comments section. Now, to make things even better, they also have more than $16 million in cash on the balance sheet after raising $13.2 million through dilution of shareholders. Now, the first reaction to this may be that that's a bad thing, diluting shareholders, but when you have a company that's trading at like a $450 million market cap and they're growing revenues at over 300%, me as an investor, I'm perfectly fine with them diluting shareholders because I'd rather them have that cash on hand to continue growing and innovating their products that they already have, as well as acquiring more businesses. Now, if you've done any due diligence on your own, you'll know that they've been acquiring companies left and right. And to continue doing that, they need cash on the balance sheet. Now, some other key things to highlight here is the new chief operating officer, Eugene Winchell, because he spent 18 years as a key executive in many parts of the company SAP, which also happens to be a $200 billion company. And if you wanna learn more about his role as the new Nextex COO, go check out my video linked above where I dive more in depth on what this new addition means for this company and how he'll really help take them to the next level. Now, they also doubled the size of the company from just last quarter and also became an approved Microsoft partner, both of which I cover in the same video I just linked above. So like I said, you'll definitely wanna check that out if you haven't already. Now, the last couple things I wanna note from this press release is that in Q3, they launched a product called Screen AR, which is a new augmented reality immersive video conferencing software, which will help accelerate new business opportunities. Opportunities. Now, in addition to this new platform, it's also key that they've begun building collaborative video capabilities to rival that of Zoom and also address telemedicine and education solutions. Now, I've talked about this in previous videos, but one of the things that I really like about Next Tech is that they have four main business verticals, right? And I cover those in another video, so be sure to check that out if you want to learn more about them. But between these four verticals, they're all entering several billion dollar industries. And I feel Next Tech really has that first mover advantage, which will set them apart from the competition. And little by little, they are gaining new customers that are turning into repeat customers, which is one of the things that I think is gonna happen with this Next Tech and TEDx agreement. And to be honest, if they can continue to execute and perfect their products, I can totally see them rivaling that of companies like Zoom because I personally believe that there's gonna be a time where video conferencing, traditionally done on things like Zoom, GoToMeetings, Microsoft Teams, those are all gonna become obsolete unless of course the competitors can continue to innovate and bring in augmented reality components to their products. And I feel that Next Tech will have the IP in hand already to make these solutions. And I'm making a bet that I believe Next Tech will be one of the leaders in the augmented reality space. So with that being said, guys, I just wanna say thank you for watching. Be sure to hit that like button because that shows me that you guys like this kind of content, especially on Next Tech because I have gotten some really great feedback on my other videos. So I think this is gonna be something that I keep doing, but let me know in the comments if you want me to keep covering Next Tech. And with that being said, guys, thank you for watching. I will catch you on the next one.